Scorpio. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Beyond the Moon, I am doing your You Verse Them love spread. It is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. All right, um, please, if you are new or returning, welcome, welcome back. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, let me know if it resonates, okay? Um, so Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. If you'd like to book a personal reading, information is down below in the description box. Um, so Scorpio, I'm going to do your energy on this side, your person's on this side. Feel free to switch roles as you see fit. Could be the whole side, could be one or two things. Same goes for you, cross watcher. Feel free to switch. This is a general reading. Um, again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information is down below um, in the description box. So Scorpio, um, <laughs> I have a few more readings left to do, but for the majority of them, you have shown up in like everybody's energy i don't know what is going on but you guys are all over the place so if you need to cross watch pick any one of my videos because you showed up in almost all so far i have like four more to do so <laughs> like eight of them you showed up all right so let's see um you could be single you could be in a connection this is for whoever you are thinking about the most uh, we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Worth waiting for. Trust and healing. All right, so... You might be in separation and it's time to release your ex. Pay attention to any of the red flags. And very soon, you might be manifesting something new. Um, yep. Your overall energy, breathe, meditation, manifesting, envisioning what you want, um, peace. You may want like a new beginning that's just easy, simple, peaceful, tranquil, um, someone that has the same interests as you or just on the same page as you. You may have had a rough separation here and that's why you're kind of like going within, trying to calm the mind, your soul, spirit, body, all of that. Um, trying to find inner peace um, for some of you. But let's see, what's your person's overall energy for this reading? What's going on? Scorpio's person. Scorpio's person. Thank you. Blessed. All right. So your person may be in that energy of feeling like this is a blessed connection. Um, Co-create something that could be divinely guided. Um, or you guys work really well together. It seems like something new because there's two eggs here. And I feel like you're using your wisdom and your knowledge you are paying attention to any red flags from the past so that way you know better of what to look out for and what to pay attention to. All right, so Scorpio, I'm going to do your energy first and then get into your person's energy. Wow. All right, Ace of Cups and then Karma, which is the judgment card and also your energy here. Um, so I feel like you made a, a judgment call, a hard decision in love. Um I'm not sure about reconciliation yet because it is new or it is the first like two cards. Let me see what else. What's going on in Scorpio's energy? Pisces energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and then the world. Um, you're closing out a chapter in your life. I feel like you are releasing, really you, you are ending something to start something new there could be a distance for some of you there could be a distance between you and this person it could be another water sign um cancer pisces scorpio doesn't have to be this could really mean that you're you're looking for someone who is going to give you like a new chapter in love I feel like you had an aha moment. You made a hard decision to close out a cycle or something in your life. And like, you don't want to look back at it. You're looking forward towards the future. And maybe you just have a lot of love to give. Or you're hoping that someone has that same amount of love to give in return. All right. 
you may have already met the person, all right? And it's like there's just a lot of love after this hard decision to close something out when you're starting something new. All right, let's see what's going on with your person, Scorpio's person. What's going on with Scorpio's person? Seven of Wands. So your person may feel like they have to block off other people's energies or fight. Like if you're getting a lot of attention, they may feel like there's like some kind of competition or they just have to like defend themselves all the time. What else? Scorpio's person. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like your person wants to put in work and effort or they might actually work a lot. The Hermit Virgo energy. Your person could be ignoring everyone and just focusing on work. If this is the ex that you need to release, they might just be like in their own little world doing their own thing. You could work with this person for some of you, or, you know, it could be saying that they want to put in the effort because they're stressed out. I'm not going to take, there's like a whole bunch, I'm not taking them, but maybe some truth came out and caused a tower moment. Someone could have been saying, hey, I have to move away or something, and that could be the cause of the breakup. There's some kind of distance between the two of you. Um, but your person is stressed out. They could just be focusing on work, all right, for some of you. Um, I feel like they're being really defensive, though. I'm getting, like, that kind of energy. Like, if you do communicate with them, it's not nice, loving communication. It's argumentative, you know? Um, but let's see. What's blocking? What's blocking Scorpio from this person? What's blocking external influences? Blockages or external influences. Thank you. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck. So this person may have had you feeling stuck or you just felt stuck in general. High Priestess, that's your energy, and Pisces, and Knight of Swords, Gemini. Um, you could have felt stuck with a Gemini or someone who was very, like, in and out or impulsive. The actions didn't match their words, and it's like some secrets came out or your intuition kicked in. And that's why you had to make that hard judgment call to like release that or close that cycle out. It may not even have been one person. It could have been just relationship after relationship. Just kind of nothing was lasting. Queen of Swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone could have, because this is blockages, all right? Um... Someone could have been very, like, blunt, non-emotional. Again, actions didn't match their words. They were just kind of, like, cold and cut off. For some of you, there could have been a pregnancy. If not, be careful if you're not planning a pregnancy. Just saying. There could have been children or something involved. Or a parent, like a motherly figure could have been involved or blocking something with this connection. The Emperor, Aries energy. Could have been an Aries, could have been a boss. Maybe this person is a boss. Maybe something happened at work. Um, they could have been a little bit controlling, dominant energy, dominant personality, driven high up in a company or owns their own company. I feel like some kind of truth came out or you had that aha moment. All right, 
let's see. What's blocking this person or external influences from you? There's that emperor again. Aries energy. Could have something to do with the workplace. Doesn't have to be. Maybe both of you guys were kind of like too dominant for each other. You know what I mean? There's some betrayal, backstabbing, lying, some kind of pain. Your person is very stressed out, very blocked off, very defensive. Could be a case for some of you where they put work first and you were like, that's not good enough. You know, like, what about me? All right, what else? What's blocking this person? The Hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy. I mean, your person could have been married or in a higher level of commitment or this person couldn't commit to you. They could have had somebody in their energy and you guys were seeing each other and they couldn't let go of that person. Justice and the Hierophant. There could be a divorce or definitely a separation of some sort. You, you could have just said, you know what, I'm walking away from this connection. It's not serving me well. Like you pulled your energy back or they did or some healing needs to take place, whether it's you or them or together. I don't know. We'll keep digging. So how do you genuinely feel towards this person, Scorpio? Three of Pentacles. Again, something about working together, collaborating, teamwork. So you could have felt like, yeah, this person may have been putting all their time and energy into work or you thought that there could have been some kind of growth here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think this person was single. I don't think this person was fully single when you guys came together. And I feel like that person has a hold on this person, on your person. It could be like assets that are shared, children, a house, a home, a business, a company, something like that could have been keeping this person stuck. Let's see, what else? How else do you feel about this person? Maybe you just feel like they're not really independent. They, they cause burdens. They burden you. This connection burdens you. Ooh. Eight of Pentacles. Something about work. There's something about work here. You're going to have to let me know if you're resonating with this. If you guys like work together, have a company together, or they just focused on work. Or, I mean, this could be saying that you want to work on this or you thought this person was going to, like, make an effort and instead it just caused a burden. What else? Five of Cups. Sadness, loss, regret, remorse, depression, dark days. This person just caused you sadness and burdens. I feel like you thought that this person was going to come in and like give you a connection or a relationship and it was kind of like false. Let's see, how does this person genuinely feel about you? The lovers, Gemini energy, they could feel like either you're a soulmate connection or they had a choice in love, or it could be a Gemini. There's That's the third Gemini card that came out here. What else? How else do they feel about Scorpio temperance? Sagittarius energy. 
more soulmate, divinely guided energy. Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, The Fool. Look at, look at the angel wings. This person feels like, yeah, you are like a soulmate connection that that is blessed, but for some reason it wasn't working out here. Um, it's the Queen of Swords again. So you could be just in the process of cleaning house, like cutting off, cutting out things that no longer serve you, no longer give you peace, give you peace of mind or, or cause you any stress. Like you're cutting that off and cutting it out. And it could be this person and they see you doing that. But how they feel about you, you do make them happy. You are a wish to them. They want to take a leap of faith towards you and make some kind of romantic love offer. There could be an age difference for some of you. doesn't have to be... Um, there's also a lot of Aries energy showing up here. So Gemini and Aries. I mean, we have other signs too. We have Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius, Libra. The Empress. This person could feel like you are the Empress. You are like the queen of all queens. You are loving, caring, nurturing. Um, again, something maybe with pregnancy or mother or parent getting involved or something maybe you're the mother of this person's um, children or father even there's no gender in tarot okay um all right let's see your hopes for the outcome keep in mind you have free will so you can change your mind at any time this is just kind of like what could happen or what you're hoping for hopes for the outcome for scorpio Two of Wands, you want some kind of decision to be made. Hopes for the outcome for Scorpio. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You also feel like something is divinely guided, but you need a decision. Something that's going to be like calming here, like going with the flow, but also... Like, your patience is running out, I feel. Four of Wands. You want a higher level of commitment and healing. Four of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you want, like, structure, stability, honesty, Going with the flow, easy. You want an easy relationship. You don't want chaos and drama and conflict and other people or unsure people. You want solid. That's what you're hoping for. Whether it's with this person or not. Look, Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking away from this person. And I felt that from the beginning. Separation, release your ex. I feel like very soon you have a soulmate that, a, like a real soulmate that's going to come towards you. You're going to, wow. You're going to have victory and success. Ten of Pentacles. Passion. Love. Romance. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away. I don't know. It's like, yeah. I, okay. You're in the process, Scorpio, of making this hard decision. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're, you're actually, you are taking your time making this decision. You're not acting on impulse or out of anger or, you know, to make this person jealous or in any like mischievous, evil kind of way. You're really going within and trying to make a smart, solid decision for yourself and for your future. And I feel like, you are going to end up walking away so that way you can find your soulmate and you can have a higher level of commitment. All right, so let's see. What is this person's hopes for the outcome? Hopes for the outcome. There you are. It's 
Scorpio, King of Cups showing up. Yeah, they want to reciprocate with you. They want equal give and take, reciprocity with you. They want balance. I feel like they want to give to you, maybe give you a gift. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could have been giving to you and to someone else. Possibly, it doesn't matter, male or female, it doesn't matter, but possibly um, there could have been like a higher level of commitment that they were in with somebody else. Or there's finances attached to it or, or something like that. What else? Six of Swords. An Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want things to move to a calmer space with you and they want a new beginning in stability. So it's like after all this, like now they want to come towards you and offer you stability. I feel like it's just because they are they don't want to feel left out in the cold or abandoned by you. But you're, you're walking away. You're walking away. You're using your intuition. You're walking away. There was some sneaky stuff. It kept you stuck. They were being sneaky, manipulative. They could be strategizing on how to come towards you because they know that you're walking away. All right. They they know you're walking away and they could be trying to, they're, they have fear of abandonment by this. But some kind of truth came out about sneaky behavior. I feel like you're, you're focusing on a new chapter, Scorpio. Um, let's see. What is the biggest obstacle Scorpio is going to have to deal with in the near future? Biggest obstacle for Scorpio in the near future. The outsider. You could feel like you're the outsider, you don't fit in anywhere, or you're you're really trying to find your people. All right, maybe when you were with this person, you had the same group of friends, or you worked together, or something like that, and now you're feeling like, you know you're alone you're you know you don't fit in it with this crowd anymore um for some of you or you could feel like you need to close that door lock it twice and <laughs> turn around and walk the other way um the dream yeah you have you have some something good coming in towards you look at look at the like, this is you now, you're, you're manifesting that, like that couple holding each other, loving each other. That's what you're manifesting. But right now, you're releasing. So you may feel a little bit alone by yourself, lonely. All right. Um, let's see. What's coming in towards Scorpio? in the near future in love. What's coming in? Judgment again. So it could be another Scorpio. Um, I don't feel like it's reconciliation. It could be for some of you, you could be reconciling with this person, but I don't feel that. I feel like something that's divinely guided is coming towards you, the hermit, Virgo. You're using your wisdom and your knowledge you're opening your heart chakra. Look at that green color there. Like you're you're working with your heart chakra. You're trying to heal your heart to open it up for fresh new love. Yeah, the Empress. <laughs> Taurus, Libra energy. You have something new that's coming towards you. It's going to be loving, caring, nurturing. Could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else? Who's coming in towards Scorpio? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Someone that's on your maturity level. Because Page of Pentacles is like young. Like it's new, it's young, it's, you know, I feel like with it in reverse. Someone that's more on your maturity level. Someone that can offer you a loving, caring connection. Victory and success, baby. That's what's coming in for you. Victory and success. 
you might end up getting a lot of attention from people or you might actually like achieve something in your life like career related that's gonna open other people's eyes towards you or just even just getting attention but victory and success justice libra energy things are going to be fair and balanced Walking away from another tower moment. I feel like you're walking away from this person. You may have a different kind of emperor come towards you. Aries. That's going to give you next level of commitment. Yeah. This person may have caused like tower after tower after tower. And I think you're just, you're done. You're tired of it. You're walking away from all that drama. Could have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah. And you're going to change your entire perspective of love. I'm telling you. You're going to have to let me know if this is happening for you. Look at it. You have the victory. In, yeah, I said this. Victory and success and ten of pentacles here. You have that coming towards you. It's coming towards you. you got to release. You got a release. All right, let's see. Anything else for Scorps? Clarifications. The snake. Cancer? All right. Cancer had, like, a very similar reading. These two cards came out, too. The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman or man. I'm telling you there was. This person was connected to somebody else. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. That's what's coming towards you. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. All right. This person could have been a narcissist, self-absorbed, love bombing, one-sided relationship. Yep, I do feel that. Some kind of one-sided relationship. Um, twin flames. Oh, what? This is what's coming in for you. Twin flame, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. You're going to find someone who is going to compliment you. Loving, caring, nurturing. You guys might have like the same outlook on everything. All right. And then wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. That's what's coming towards you. Keep your eyes open for it, all right? Keep your eyes open. All right, let's see. Any advice for Scorpio? That's too many. Same cards as Cancer. It's weird. Dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love yourself. Okay, be loyal to yourself when it comes to love. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Another one got this one too. Like, look how many cards. There's tons. I'm telling you, Scorpio, you showed up in almost everybody's reading. So feel free to cross watch in my playlist for this week's. Anything else? Any other advice? Any other advice for Scorpio? Thank you. Porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mind, and panther spirit, reclaim your power. I feel like that just, these came out in cancers too. That's so crazy. Wow. All right. Reclaim your power. Time for new beginnings. Time for new beginnings, Scorpio. Cat spirit, claim your independence. Yep. Wow. You're going to be like, once you heal from this, you're going to be like coming back stronger than ever. Very soon. Very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want and it's coming. All right. I feel like you have a soulmate coming in. All right, Scorpio, uh, please comment. Let me know if this resonated. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information is in the description box below. And until next time, love and light. Take care.